YouTube family, what's going on? It's your boy, AntDollar.com, back with another Daily Dollar. Just got in from a night out, and I had something on my mind, so I didn't want to wait till tomorrow to make this video. I figured I'd do it right now. I want to talk to y'all about trust in the process. And I know sometimes we go through things, we have things happen to us, like a breakup, a separation, you know, maybe somebody we liked instantly or, or unexpectedly left our life or maybe we don't have enough money to pay our bills maybe we have a sick family member i mean it could be anything you know i feel like personally this is just my personal opinion i'm not trying to put any science or any cosmic type of energy behind anything like that but to me i think that life is designed to bring you down if you let it because you are the designer so on the flip side of that that would also mean that life is meant to raise you up and you are meant to have the things that you want to have if you allow it if you believe in it if you truly 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 feel like you're worthy of things and that's kind of what i want to talk about is not only knowing that you're worthy but acting as if you're worthy let me tell you what i'm talking about so let's say that you want a dodge challenger that's something that i want to do you know i want to I've always wanted a Challenger, you know, it's not a Panamera, it's not a Bentley, it's not, you know, a Rolls Royce, you know, like maybe some people want Lamborghini, whatever, but to me, personally, it's something that I want, it's something that I think about, dream about, whatever the case may be, and it's something that I will attain simply because I can not only visualize it, but I act as if, so when I jump in my Charger, you know, I, I walk how I walk to my Challenger, you know, with that swagger, with that thing. Same thing with all my dreams and as far as making these videos and, and making music videos and if you've been following me for a little while, excuse me, or even maybe you just started following me, you'll see that I kind of started a little comedy thing, the, the hashtag me and Bay thing. So just all these different ideas that I have, I'm just putting them in motion. I'm not a comedian by any stretch of the imagination. I, I, I don't know how to write jokes. You know, I couldn't go on anybody's stage like Dave Chappelle or Cat Williams and tell a whole gang of jokes. But what I do know is that I had an idea and I said, fuck it. I'm going to just try it because what's the worst that could happen? I fail, but get experienced in doing something else. You never know what will happen. You just have to trust yourself and align yourself with what you want to happen. And that starts with feeling, acting as if, if you will, and trusting the process because it is a process. Now... Sometimes you can manifest things in a day. Sometimes you can manifest things in two minutes. Sometimes it takes two years, 20 years, whatever the case may be. But as long as you trust the process and as long as you have fun and enjoy the actual, I guess the drudgery, if you will, of going through some of these things, you'll start to find that not only do you accomplish your goals, but you start accomplishing these things when you're not really expecting it. Like, we were talking about, you know, separations earlier. Think about a time if this ever happened to you, and I'm sure it probably has happened to most of the people watching this video, when you were dating somebody and things went sideways or whatever the case may be, and maybe six months later, a year later, two years, I actually had somebody come back to me two years later when I was least expecting it. I was, obviously wasn't thinking about them two years later. I mean, I guess some of you might, but I wasn't in my particular case. and. I find that life kind of mirrors that a lot and I also find a lot of people that I know personally in stories that I hear because I watch a lot of YouTube videos on self-help and, and just coaching and advice and law of attraction and all those cool cosmic esoteric things but the one thing that I draw from all of that stuff is you must trust your process. You must trust yourself. You must trust your feelings. You must trust your spirit guides. Even if you don't realize you have spirit guides, trust me, you do. Especially if you've ever been through a near-death experience, you probably believe this more than others. I really just wanted to get on here and tell y'all that, you know, because I love y'all. I want y'all to be successful, but I also want you to be happy. I feel like if you can figure out a way to get that happiness in yourself, not with outside influences or outside things or materials and things like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying actually being happy and enjoying the moment, even if you don't have that person back, even if you don't have that car yet, even if your rent might be due, whatever the case may be, because let me tell you something, the reality you want is the reality you create. Example, 
Three weeks before I moved into my new apartment with a nice view, as you can see, it's a little blurry because you know, of course, the focus, I want the focus on my face so y'all can see me. But three weeks before I was talking to my cousin, literally, this is a true story. And I told her, I'm gonna move out on my own. I don't want any more roommates, but I don't have no money. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I am gonna do it. And not only did I do it, but I picked the actual apartment that I wanted and it was sold out when I first inquired about it, but obviously I'm into it because this is exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. So one of the things I did was I went on the, the, the renter's website and I searched out the floor plan of the apartment and I also had the, the listing details of the apartment as well. And I had it on my computer the whole time. I actually even Google Earthed the apartment where I was at. Kind of, I mean, if you could imagine Google Earth, just think of it as being sitting right on top of this roof so I could see everything that was already here. I was planning this, you know, and I knew I had to have it. I, I felt it in my heart, you know, so trust your process. Take care of yourself. If you don't have a gym membership, go to the gym. You know, don't let things bother you that you can't control. The only thing you control is how you feel and how you respond to things. So what I want you to do, everyone watching this video, I want you to do me a favor for the next seven days. I want you to take 10 minutes out of your day. If I mean, at least 10 minutes out of your day, I should say. You can do it for longer if you want to, but at least 10 minutes out of your day, I want you to do something that you love and that you're passionate about every single day. So if nothing else, at least for that 10 minutes, you can have that sense of joy. You can have that sense of happiness because I know heartbreak hurts. I know that, you know, past due pink notices hurt. I know because I've been there. I, I've done that. I've seen it. I got the t-shirt autographed. So trust me, I get it. I'm not trying to say that any of this is easy, but has anything that you've ever gotten in your life been easy? Anyways, I just wanted to say that I wanted to check and I got to get to bed. I got to early early start in the morning gotta get some things done but I just wanted to talk to y'all and just spread a little love and, and let y'all know that I'm thinking about y'all and I hope that this reaches somebody and it allows them it gives them a reason or an excuse of accountability for what they're supposed to be doing and I promise you I promise you if you trust your process you trust yourself things will manifest you know Watch some Abraham Hicks videos. Watch some Aaron Doty videos. Guys like that, you know, Abraham is not really a guy, but you'll learn more if you actually go and Google it, YouTube it, whatever. I just wanted to touch base with y'all. So look, last point I wanna make. Stay you, stay yourself, stay grinding, stay focused, and spread love. I love y'all, namaste. Spread love.